What's up everybody, MonkeyDo22 here with another help tutorial video as a part of the Xbox Ambassadors program. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to reset your Xbox One console to factory defaults. Though rare, there are times when you may need to completely erase and restore your Xbox One to factory defaults, such as when you sell it or give it to a friend. There may also be times when you want to reset your console's operating systems to its factory defaults for troubleshooting purposes, but you want to make sure that you keep all of your games and apps installed as well. Xbox One has both options available to you, and I'm going to show you how to do both. Just as a warning though, resetting your console to its factory defaults erases all accounts, save games, settings, and home consoles associations. Anything that is not synchronized with Xbox Live will be lost. Your console syncs with Xbox Live automatically when it's connected with the service, so if you've been offline for a while, you'll need to connect to Xbox Live before taking these steps just to make sure there's no data loss in the cloud. Also, if you can't perform the following steps to restore the console to factory default state because you have no picture on the screen or you just can't access the settings menu for whatever reason, you can also perform the steps by using a file loaded onto a USB flash drive. I'll post a link in the description to a guide that will assist you with those steps if you need them. Once you know that you're ready to restore the Xbox One to factory defaults, go ahead and on the dashboard press left on the controller to open up the guide. Then scroll down and highlight and press A on settings. From the settings menu, press system and then console info and updates. On this screen here, you'll see a few more details about your console, including the OS version, but go ahead and highlight and press A on reset console. Now from this screen, we have three options. So listen carefully. The first option is to reset and remove everything. All user data, including accounts, saved games, settings, home Xbox associations, and all games and apps will be deleted. You should use this option when selling or gifting the console to someone else. You should only use this option as a last resort in some troubleshooting cases. The next option is to reset and keep my games and apps. You should use this option as your primary choice when troubleshooting. It will reset the OS and delete all potentially corrupted data without deleting your games or apps. This will save you from downloading or reinstalling the large game files. In some cases, if a corrupt game file is causing the issue you're troubleshooting, you may have to choose reset and remove everything, but you should always start with reset and keep my games and apps and then save, reset, and remove everything as a last resort. And of course, the third option is cancel. You can go ahead and select this to back out of this screen. No action has been taken at this point, so this is a safe exit from this screen. After you select one of the options, your Xbox One console will begin the process of erasing the selected content and resetting itself to the default settings. And that's all there is to it. I hope this video was helpful for you. I create support content just like this and many other videos on a weekly basis. So please like, comment, and share this video if it was helpful. Also, please do me a favor and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Once again, I'm MonkeyDo22 as a part of the Xbox Ambassadors program. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on Xbox Live.